Hey there guys, Q here, and welcome to WEW Day 7. It's the final day guys, and I gotta say it was a blast. I wanna thank everybody who's watched me and uh, participated in this. Uh, thank you greatly. It's been a blast and i um, just grateful overall. Now, as you guys could tell in the title and from the promo intro, um, it's going to be from 2018, It's Just a Game. Now, guys, this film was pretty interesting and I quite enjoyed it for actually what it was. It surprised the shit out of me, actually. So I'm going to go on here. Uh, I do apologize if I butcher names, uh, bad pronunciations, bad mouth for some reason. Just my tongue doesn't want to work for me. Either way, guys, um, the director is Daniel E. Taylor, and uh, I gotta say, um, for a director, this was pretty damn awesome. I really enjoyed uh, the way he directed this film. It, it really wasn't too bad. Um, I've seen worse. I really have. Obviously, we all seen better, but I have definitely seen worse, and it was pretty decent. So, <clears throat> the actors in this film is Hannah Cohen Lawler. She plays Brianna. I believe Brianna is the girl that um, these other girls are picking on and stuff in the film. Uh, Kansas Bowling plays Sister Margot. Um, Sarah Kopkin plays Ruby. Leah Hudspeth plays Sister Amelia. G. Larry Butler plays Mr. Peterson. Alex Suko plays Brother Marco. Uh, Sean C. Phillips is in this. He's also known as Cool Duder. He has a YouTube uh, channel. Um, he plays Brother Jeffrey. And there's a few more people that, that was written down, but that was already quite a bit of names there. Either way, the music score was pretty decent. I quite enjoyed it, and it did help this film along. Um, again, if you guys are not familiar with my channel at all, uh, I'm a big dude for music score because I find I get thrown off of films when the music score doesn't match up with what I'm seeing. And like, say there's a murder scene going on and they're playing some weird, maybe upbeat music type thing. It just doesn't work for me. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm a weird person. So either way, I found it decent enough that it helped the movie along. And uh, for that, I'm grateful. Uh, the overview for this is, there's actually a couple of them. I looked around to see if there is uh, maybe a, a more decent one, but it looks like I'm going to have to sort of come up with my own, but I will let you, I will read the one off the TV here. This is Tubi TV. They have it on here for free. I'll read this one. I'll read the one that I found and then I'll give you mine. So this one here says, after a teenage girl is kidnapped by a strange theater cult, intent on summoning a powerful witch, she is caught in their sick plan. Now, that is sort of right. Same with this one. A teenage girl is kidnapped by a bizarre theater cult intent to... Oh, wait, that's a... No. Intent of summoning an ancient witch. That's what was written here. So, either way, um, my overview for this, it's uh, four girls are at a sleepover, basically. And um, uh, two of the girls are really trying to scare two other girls. And... Um, one of them just doesn't buy into it while the other one buys everything and she's getting scared and um, the, one of the girls uh, that they're trying to scare that's not buying it feels bad for the girl that is really scared and kind of they all have an argument about it type thing and the two girls that were getting kind of bullied end up leaving there and go to one of the girls houses to calm down. The girl that was getting bullied and picked on wants to really call and summon the witch to attack these girls that were just bugging her. And um, these girls just never stopped bugging her. I think they bugged her in school and stuff too. And she just got fed up to the point where she ended up going into a room somewhere and summoning this witch, but nothing happened. She didn't see the witch. She didn't see nothing. And it turns out that which blew me away because I wasn't expecting this. I was just expecting some witch because you see this here. That's what I was expecting just to pop out of nowhere and start doing some killing. But that's not how this works. Uh, apparently the witch does uh, does exist type thing. But she has like a little cult group. And she tells the cult group what to do. And they do it for her. Which I thought was interesting and a really cool way to go. My likes for this is the storyline because really interesting storyline. I never really quite seen a storyline quite like this one before. Um... 
I'm pretty sure I will come to a few movies that will be very similar, but right now, this is the first one I've seen like this. Um, the complete idea of what it was blew me away. Um, the kills are pretty interesting. I like them. And the look of the skull girl here was pretty interesting. I really enjoyed that look. I thought it was a cool original look. And um, the person played a good, good uh, little killer there. I, I really enjoyed that. The dislikes for this, guys. Uh, I kind of overlooked it for this one, I'm guessing. Uh, or they'd just be nitpicks. But uh, I quite enjoyed this one from start to finish. And uh, I just, I, I recommend this one as well to you guys. Uh, this one is a fun one. Um, like I said, I quite enjoyed the overall story. The complete idea of this was pretty, uh, interesting to me. Well, that's going to be it, guys, for WEW. Uh, I really had a blast doing this. Uh, give a shout out again to Brad from Bronco Juggalo Talks Movies. He is the man with the plan that came up with this awesomeness, and I am so happy to be part of it. Thanks, Brad, for having me, man. Oh, I'm just having... Just had a blast. Really did. What a week. What a week, guys. Um, again, I'd like to give a shout out to Wild Eye Releasing for coming out with such awesome films. Uh, even though they don't really make them, but they help distribute them. And uh, that is just amazing to me. It blows my mind how much they're trying to help independent folks, trying to get their films out there. Man, I would love to get any film of mine, anything out there uh, like that. You know what I mean? For people to see and love. So... For people that are really bashing Wild Eye and stuff, I like to see you guys come up with a better film. Just something quick off of your head and, and see if people want to watch it and, and not bash it. You know what I mean? I love these films. I do. And uh, it kind of irks me a little bit um, when people kind of just bash it because it's not a Hollywood type film. Um, people don't seem to want to give it a chance or don't understand that it's independent. Like low, low budget, like a bunch of buddies just trying to get together, having a good time and making something fun for everybody else. Either way, guys, enough of that little rant. Um, just make sure to check out everyone else doing Wild Eye Week. Uh, I've been a little busy. I will get to most of your videos. I know I've missed a couple near the end here, but I will get to them, guys, I promise. And um, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time. And of course, guys, there's going to be a trailer at the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoy that. You all take care and have an awesome, awesome day. Ciao. Real. None of this is real, it's just a game.